Welcome to MI and Milgard COVID-19 training program. In today's training, we will focus on sanitation best practices that were developed to help reduce the spread of COVID-19 and provide our team a safe and healthy working environment. Every decision we make is based on our assessment of these two principles. Number one, provide a safe place to work. And number two, provide jobs within our communities. In the last two presentations, we focused on simple things our team can do to help slow the spread of COVID-19 and took a more in-depth look at self-isolation, self-quarantine, and self-monitoring. Today, we want to take a deeper dive into what the business is doing to help our team stay safe. For this to remain true, we must all do our part in sanitation and disinfection throughout all MI and Milgard facilities. It is important that we understand the difference between non-essential common touch points and essential common touch points. Non-essential common touch points are touch points that do not necessarily need to be touched, such as door handles, railings, posts, walls, and time clocks. Although these items vary facility to facility, the continuous improvement and safety teams have worked diligently on developing ways to eliminate these touch points. Concepts like opening internal doors, electronic towel dispensers, and the deployment of stylus pens for clocking in and out are a few best practices within MI Milgard to help reduce non-essential common touch points and mitigate exposure to COVID-19. Many objects within our facilities must be shared or commonly used between the team. These would be considered common touch points. Team members should clean these objects using an approved EPA list N disinfectant before and after touching or wear nitrile disposable gloves, if applicable, when touched. In many circumstances, a stylus or fine point object can be used for pressing buttons or screens. Items that are considered essential common touch points include, but are not limited to, shared hand tools, machine push buttons, computer monitor touch pads, chairs, water coolers, break room refrigerators, coffee pot handles, forklifts, essential door handles, and microwaves. In order to ensure maximum cleaning efficiency, please follow these steps. Number one, before disinfecting, clean any dirty surface with soap and water. This will allow disinfectant to work efficiently. Number two, once clean, spray disinfectant solution on high touch points and all surfaces that you or someone else may have touched. Number three, leave solution on surface for at least one minute prior to wiping. Please note, Touch screens and electronics do not respond well to cleaning agents and can be damaged if not disinfected correctly. For those items, please spray disinfectant into a cloth and wipe down using the damp cloth. Do not spray disinfectant directly onto electronics. Janitorial staff and or team members at all facilities are responsible for general cleaning of all essential rooms in high traffic areas. Essential rooms within our facilities are all bathrooms and break rooms. Cleaning frequency of these two areas will vary dependent upon occupancy of each building. However, essential rooms are encouraged to be cleaned no less than one time per day. Public cleaning notices will be placed in these areas to show who is responsible for cleaning as well as the dates and times of past cleanings. To ensure consistency in cleaning efforts across all MI and Milgard locations, departmental cleaning procedures have been established. These departmental cleanings must be conducted after each work shift. At the end of each shift, it is a requirement for each team member to wipe down their workstations with an approved list N cleaning agent. Please review these documents at your specific department 
as they will give site-specific cleaning procedures. After disinfecting all workstations, designated leaders will validate proper execution and completion. Our goal is to provide every individual a sense of comfort in knowing sharing work practices and workstations have been cleaned after every use. Thank you for listening to this short training. Please remember these four fundamental pillars. If you are not well, stay home. Continue social distancing when applicable. Wash your hands often for at least 20 seconds. And wear a face covering to pre protect the people around you. As always, be smart, stay safe, and remain calm. Thank you for your time.